According to John. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. And once again, if you're visiting us, a very a warm and cordial welcome to you. We're very thankful that you're here, and we hope that you feel at home because you are at home and you belong. At the Last Supper, there must have been a sense among the uh, disciples of foreboding. Jesus had uh, spoken to them often about his impending suffering and death, and they had a sense that everything was now coming to a climax. And in that atmosphere of maybe anxiety, foreboding, perhaps uh, fear, Jesus speaks the words that uh, we heard in today's Holy Gospel from the 14th chapter of St. John. Can you put that up, Joey, please? It's at the Last Supper that uh, Jesus says this, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and faith in me. Now, perhaps just look for just a, a minute or so, or less than a minute, at those words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And know that those words are being spoken to you this morning. There are all sorts of things that may be uh, foreboding for you, different fears that you may have. And right now, the word of God, he's saying to you, do not let your hearts be troubled. When Jesus says this to us, do not let your hearts be troubled, it's not 
just empty words or advice or wishful thinking. He has suffered for us. Jesus has died for us. Jesus has paid the price for our sins. And, as he explains also in this passage, Jesus has gone before us to prepare a place in his Father's house. And that place no one can take away from us or destroy. We have the firm promise, hope of our eternal home, which is heaven. If we stay close to the sacred heart of Christ, what do we have to fear? What can trouble us? Take a look at this passage from the 8th chapter of Romans. It wasn't uh, one of the readings today, but it speaks to this. Do not let your hearts be troubled. St. Paul wrote, With God on our side, who can be against us? Since God did not spare <coughs> his only son, we should always have the crucifixion before our minds. If God did not spare his only son, we may be certain after such a gift that he will not <coughs> refuse anything else uh, to us. It might be hard to accept this truth, but it is true nonetheless. Christ is ours. In the midst of our own troubles, temptations, sicknesses, failures, even our sins, maybe particularly in our sins, <coughs> Christ is always by our side loving us, guiding us, and upholding us. As we accept this truth, then we can begin to experience a true peace of heart. The kind of peace of heart that doesn't <laughs> depend upon our mood or the circumstances of our lives. The kind of peace gets, that gave strength and even joy to the Christian martyrs, many of whom sang hymns joyfully as they marched to their place of execution <coughs> today in this Holy Mass. Jesus will renew his commitment to us. This is my body, which is given for you. This is the cup of my blood which is being poured out for you. As Jesus is renewing that covenant, that commitment to us in this Mass, at that time, let's ask him to increase our faith in his goodness so that we can follow him more closely and learn to obey what he commanded us at the Last Supper, that is, do not let your hearts be troubled. <laughs>